Hello everyone. So there's been a fair amount of feedback on my little interior teak touch-up project. And uh, the project continues and I thought I'd try to give you a better explanation of the process I'm using. So here we're looking into the starboard side quarter berth in my Cabo Rico 38. And you can see that down here along this baseboard trim that it's uh, badly weathered. Most of the wood on the boat is in very con good condition, but it would appear that uh, at some point in time there was probably some sort of leak from that port light up there uh, that uh, ran down this locker and otherwise caused the finish on the baseboard to tarnish that and the fact that probably there was gear stored there and people coming in and out uh, bumped up against it. So. I think this is a great uh, area to demonstrate the, pr uh, the process. It's the most, um, I don't want to say damaged, it's the most deteriorated area of finish on the interior of the boat. So I'm going to take a look at it now and obviously I'll talk through the process and then insert some clips as I go along. So I'm using this Minwax Polish Shade. It's a stain and polyurethane in one step. I'm using pecan gloss. The first step of the process is to take some 220 grit sandpaper, use a palm sander to sand down that uh, area where the uh, finish is deteriorated. To smooth that out just a little bit, take off that varnish. Okay, so here you see, you can see that I've uh, done the initial round of sanding and I'm gonna wipe that off and see what it looks like and if it needs a little bit more work I'll apply the sander to it again so this is uh, after the first uh, attempt with the sander you can see it still probably needs uh, a little bit more work now the goal is not to sand down to bare wood the goal is actually just to smooth it out and give it a tooth so that the uh, that the uh, stain and polyurethane will adhere and just remember the stain polyurethane is very very close if not an exact match to the original stain. Okay I've just completed another quick pass with the palm sander and I'm gonna do a little test patch uh, with the uh, the stain because again this is the most uh, deteriorated area of varnish and uh, nowhere else did I have such a large spot where the varnish was just about gone. So I want to do a little test patch to see how how well it matches. Right, so here it is after sort of a test coat. And you can see that it's not exactly 100% um, matched. Got this light area over here in the corner, which was the lightest area uh, before I did the sanding. This part from the second locker back filled in nicely and I think what I'm gonna to have to do here is just let that dry um, scuff it up again with like 320 and then put another coat on darken it up to match it stay tuned we'll see how it looks later while we're waiting for that to dry I thought I'd show you exactly how I'm applying the um, the stain I'm not using a brush I'm, I'm putting it really thin uh, and I'm doing it with a soft cloth. So I'm doing a final uh, sort of a final coat on the settee trim rails. I uh, came in today and, and with better light I didn't like um, how uneven uh, the stain had gone down and so I scuffed them up with 320 and uh, I'm putting another final coat on and I'm basically doing that just by hand And I find that that gives me a much more even layering of the of the stain. Okay, this is about how far I got today. I was able to apply a second coat to that area that was most worn, right in there. Um, started to match it up, but it still needs some more work. I'll let it dry, come back. Scuff it up again with like 320 and throw another coat on and I think it'll match up pretty good.